In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a trigger order, also known as a conditional order, on the L Bank Futures Exchange. If you're still relatively new to trading futures on L Bank, I do have a step-by-step -step beginner tutorial, and I'll leave a link for that video in the description down below for anyone that might find that helpful. This video is not financial advice and is for educational purposes only. If you end up getting some value out of this, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe for future content. Let's get into the video. We can use a trigger limit order or a trigger market order, whether we intend to open a long position or a short position. I'll start out by doing a trigger limit order for a long position. So we'll head up here to the order panel. We'll make sure that we click on plan, then we'll click on limit. Now we need to choose a trigger price that tells L Bank to place a limit order to open a long position. So we'll head on over here to the chart and let's just imagine that we want to place a long order if the price of Ethereum manages to break through this area of resistance right here. So we need to find a trigger price. And when we look left on the chart, maybe we want to use this candle right here from this little breakdown to the downside. So I'll grab a horizontal from the drawing tools and let's go ahead and just mark out that candle body, something like this. When we look left, we can see a wick getting up into that area right here. And we can see several wicks in that area right here. So maybe we want to try to use this as our trigger condition. Now we can see a price point on the Y axis of the chart coming in at 1,944. So we'll come over here to the order panel and we'll type that into trigger price. We'll go 1,944. So if Ethereum comes up to 1,944, that's going to tell L Bank to place a limit order for us to open a long position. So let's head back over here to the chart and let's just imagine that we wanna place our order to go long somewhere down around the top of this pivot point right here. So I'll grab another horizontal from the drawing tools and let's go ahead and mark out these candle bodies in this area, something like this. Now we can see a price point on the Y axis of the chart coming in at 1,908. So we'll come back to our order panel and we'll type that into price. We'll go 1,908. Now we need to choose the size of our order. And for this demonstration, I'll just go ahead and do a small amount of Ethereum, something like this. Now that I have this set up the way that I want it, I'd come down here and click on open long. Then we'll get our order confirmation pop-up window confirming the details of this trigger limit order. Of course, we can see the trigger price right here. So if the price of Ethereum hits 1,944, L Bank is going to place a limit order to open a long position down at 1,908. If this is what you intended, you'd click on confirm. Now I've placed that trigger limit order. If Ethereum manages to pick itself back up and work up here and break through resistance and hit my trigger price, L Bank is going to place an order to open a long position down here at 1,908. So for this trade idea to work, we'd need Ethereum to come up, hit our trigger price at 1,944, and then retrace to 1,908 to fill the limit order to open a long position. If that order fills, we'll be looking for continuation to the upside for this trade idea to turn a profit. If our limit order gets filled and then Ethereum was just to fall back down, we'd be put at a loss. Now that we've set our trigger limit order to open a long position up here, let's have a little bit of fun and add a trigger order to open a short position in case Ethereum just continues to the downside. So of course, the first thing we need to do is choose our trigger price. And maybe we want to use this wick on this red candle right here as our trigger price. So I'll go ahead and grab a horizontal and let's mark that out. Maybe something like this. Now we can see a price point on the Y axis of the chart coming in at 1,682. So let's come up here to the order panel. We'll make sure we're set to plan, set to limit, and we'll type that price point into trigger price. We'll go 1,682. So if the price of Ethereum continues to the downside and hits 1,682, that's going to trigger L Bank to place a limit order to open a short position for us. So now we need to choose a price point that we wish to place that limit order to go short. So let's head back on over here to the chart and maybe we want to use these candle bodies right here. So let's go ahead and grab a horizontal from the drawing tools and I'll mark that out something like this. Now we can see a price point on the Y axis of the chart coming in at 1,710. So let's come back to the order panel and we'll type that into price, 1,710. Now I need to choose the amount of the position I wish to open if this short order was to fill. And I'll do the same amount to the downside that I have for the upside. So we'll do not point not one ETH. And then what we would do is come down here and click on open short. And we'll get our order confirmation pop-up window confirming the details of this trigger order. We can see our trigger price right here. So if Ethereum comes down to 1,682, that's going to trigger L Bank to place a limit order 
to open a short position up at 1,710. So if this is what you intended, you click on confirm. Now we've placed a trigger order to the downside. So if Ethereum was to just continue to the downside here, hitting our price point down here at 1,682, that'll trigger L Bank to place a limit order to go short up here at 1,710. So for this idea to work, we need price action to come down, hit our trigger price, catch a short term bounce back up to 1,710, then that would fill our short order and we'd be looking for continuation to the downside for that to be profitable. Of course, if price action came down, hit our trigger price, then bounced and filled our limit order to open short, but then price action just continues to the upside, that's going to put this trade idea at a loss. If one of these orders fills and price goes favorably for you, just make sure to come back and cancel the trigger order that didn't fill. We can find the details of our trigger order if we come down here next to position, click on open orders. And here's where you'll find your trigger orders. We can see my open short position right here with a trigger price of 1,682. If that price point gets hit, an order will be placed at 1,710. And then down below that, we can see the long position. With a trigger price of 1,944, that'll tell L Bank to place a limit order to open a long position at 1,908. If at any point you want to cancel these, just come over here on the right hand side, underneath action, click on cancel and click on confirm and click on cancel again and confirm. And now I've canceled both of those trigger orders. Now I'll show you how to set up a trigger market order. So we'll come back up here to the chart and let's use the same trade idea just for the purposes of demonstration. But this time, let's tell L Bank to fill our position as a market order if our trigger condition gets hit to the upside or if our trigger condition gets hit to the downside. And I'll start with the upside first. So what I'll do is I'll come back to the order panel, make sure I'm set to plan, and this time I'll click on market. Now I need to type in the trigger price to the upside. And of course, we can see that price point on the Y axis of the chart correlating to that horizontal at 1,944. So I'll type that into trigger price. Now I need to choose the size of the position I wish to open if that trigger condition gets hit. And I'll go ahead and just do 0.01 ETH. Now that I have this set up the way that I want it, I'm going to click on open long. And then we'll get our order confirmation pop-up window confirming the details of this trigger order. We can see our trigger price right here. So if the price of Ethereum hits 1,944, this order is going to fill as a market order immediately at the best available price from the order book. So if that's what you intended, you'd click on confirm. Now we've placed that trigger long order. If Ethereum was to work its way up and hit 1,944, my long position will fill immediately at the best available price from the order book. And then I'd be looking for immediate continuation to the upside for this to be profitable. If Ethereum was to come up and fill my order, but then reject, I'd be put at an immediate loss. So now that we have the upside covered, let's go ahead and set a trigger order to the downside. And we'll use the same trigger price as before. And of course we can see that on the Y axis of the chart coming in at 1,682. So we'll come back up here to the order panel Make sure we're set to plan, set to market, and we'll type that price point into trigger price. So 1,682. And for amount, I'll just do the same thing, not point, not one ETH. Now that I have this set up the way that I want it, I'd click on open short. Then we'll get our order confirmation window here, confirming the details of our order. So if the price of Ethereum comes down to 1,682, that's going to open a position to go short the best available price from the order book. So I'll go ahead and click on confirm. Now I've set my trigger order to the downside. So if Ethereum was to come down and hit my trigger price right here, 1,682, I'll be opening that short position at the best available price from the order book, and I'll be looking for immediate continuation to the downside. If Ethereum was to come down and hit that price point, but then bounce, that's going to put me at a loss. We can find the details of this order. If we come down here next to positions, click on open orders. And here's where you can find your trigger orders. If at any point you want to cancel these, you just come over here on the right hand side under action and click on cancel. Just like so. And I've removed both of those trigger orders. There are several ways that you can use a trigger order. At the end of the day, you'll have to do your own technical analysis on the asset and the time frame that you're looking to trade and choose price points that make the most sense for you.
And there you have it. That's how you can set up a trigger order on the L Bank Futures Exchange. If you got some value out of this, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. Also, feel free to check out my other L Bank tutorials, which I've put together for you in a playlist on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.